Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Beyond, yes, I'm still playing it, and a lot of people I don't think are. But anyway, you find me in a war zone. The Thargoids have been up to their old mischief. They've been out there attacking Federation and Imperial convoys on their way to the bubble. And as it stands today, they're only about 50 light years away. So what happens when the Thargoids get into system? What happens effectively when they start attacking those ships? Well, we've seen it all before because you drop into one of the signal sources and you can see either Imperial or Federation ships that have had a right old pasting, a right old battering as well. You know, I mean, all that green mist is around. You've got all the goop or fungus or whatever you want to call it, corrosion all over the ships. And it's like no matter how big your ships are, whether they're corvettes, whether they're Federation drop ships or assault ships or fighters, or even the humongous Federation capital ships, right? They all seem to get a right old pasting from the Thargoids. Hey, it's not a, as uh, an easy battle as what we thought it would be, eh? But not to worry, because when these ships especially the big capital ships, get damaged, they go off to a Federation dry dock, much like we saw in the previous video. Now, if you haven't done so, click that subscribe button and then look for that notification bell and ring that notification bell, and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos like this on YouTube. Okay, so I'm now in the Limpa system on approach to a Federation dry dock. I've switched out into a Viper Mark III. It's a little bit more maneuverable than the bigger ships that I tend to fly around in. And I've left my Asp, the Inquisitive Badger, elsewhere. So I've parked them in the recent, in the, the closer space station. There's a Coralis knocking around. And here we can see a Federation capital ship in dry dock. Much like we saw with the Imperial ships in the Imperial Dry Dock. This time though, there doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot going on here either. There's not an awful lot of damage to be seen on the actual model and the graphic. It's a quite a quiet place. It's quite a solitary place. You've got those massive lights, sort of like giving a nice stream of light in the darkness of space over the model. You can see there's some repair work going on there as well, some scaffolding around the superstructure of the ship and the stereotypical flashes of light that depict a little bit of work going on. Although, like as we saw in the Imperial shipyards, there's no work going on. There's no worker drones getting around there either. Much like we saw in the other shipyards as well, it shows a level of continuity that these ships have suffered damage and they are getting repaired. They're taken off the front line. But I do want to get into repeating myself for all the stuff that I said um, when I went round and revisited the Imperial Dockyard. A different design though, however, in the Federation to what we saw on the Imperial side. This one seems to be a bit more, I don't know, utilitarian. There's, there's no glamour or glitz which is indicative with the design of the Federation ships either. Anyway, I mean, they're very sort of functional, aren't they? Whereas you look at the Imperial, it's full of opulence and, and luxury and, you know, finesse. Whereas this is, looks like a big old lump of pig iron floating around in space next to a space station. And it's being repaired by other people putting big old lumps of pig iron back onto the ship. You know, it's a heavy ship. It's a bruiser of a ship. Now, who knows? Hopefully we'll be able to do something with these capital ships in the future. You never know. And we've already mentioned some of this on, hey, so you're an admiral, so what? And the like. I mean, it would be great to be able to call one of these in or use it as your home base or at least do something with them other than just being in-game artifacts and them just sort of warping into conflict zones or to see them just floating around in space after a Thargoid attack. Of course, you can see them parked around planets and points of interest like barnacles, but hey, they don't really do an awful lot other than that, do they? 
So that's it, just a short look around and a short video today. I've been Ricardo and this has been Elite Dangerous Beyond and a quick look around a Federation dry dock where we have a ship just parked there being rebuilt after some sort of battle, whether it be from the Thargoids or from the Imperials. Thanks very much for watching and look out for more videos in the series and remember, Reboot and Restart is every Saturday at 6pm British Standard Time. Take it easy and see you soon.